Johnson. Uh, today we're talking about um, the Harvey family, to be precise, or Steve Harvey. Uh, regard, or particularly his so-called advice, and it's going to turn into some sort of segue where we focus more on his daughter, which is, I don't even know why we're doing that, but we're doing it anyway. So, uh, Steve Harvey has a tendency of giving people advice on one of his so many fucking shows. The man is on everything. The man is the king of NBC or ABC, whatever the damn channel is in America. Okay, this guy's got Family Feud, he's got the Steve Show, the Steve Harvey Show, whatever it's called now. He's got Family Feud, he's been doing that for a long time. He's now a TV judge. Uh, I don't know. Do you have to get a law degree or actually practice law to be a tv judge i don't even get it and are tv i mean like are those real cases i don't even know but i think it's scripted stuff but who knows anyway uh so we're talking about steve harvey's relationship so-called advice but the advice that i personally think he should be giving to his own daughter who's been passed around like a blunt like no one's business I got a few, uh, let's look at the records of this young lady. This young lady has dated footballers and gays to one. Uh, I don't know if she dated basketballers or not, but she probably did. I don't know if she dated American football players. I don't know if she probably did, but I know she dated a footballer and an actor and a rapper. Now, when she was 20, she was engaged. Uh, when she was 20, that was 2017. Uh, she dated and was engaged to Dutch football international uh, and rapper uh, Memphis Depay. Memphis, if you don't know who Memphis is, I can't help you. Memphis played for Barcelona, Olympic Lyon, uh, played for Manchester United. I don't know where he's playing right now. Juventus? I don't know. He's playing somewhere. He moved from Barcelona uh, last season, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then in 2018, same year after the engagement broke off, she dated um, uh, the son of uh, Sean Combs, okay, aka Diddy, um, uh, Justin Combs. And, and I just got to say this, this is irrelevant, but if somebody got to introduce you and got to say your dad's name first, you are under a really, you stuck under a really dark and large shadow. So Justin, escape while you still can. <laughs> Not that you need to because your daddy's rich. And the same year, she dated Trey Songs, apparently, Mr. Steal Your Girl himself. I don't know if he snatched her from Justin, but you know Trey Songs. He, he was smooth on that. He slid in that girl at the end or he met him first. I don't know. And then she moved on and broke up with the nigga. I don't even know. And later that same year. Yeah, we're talking 2019 COVID era. Semi type. She was rumored. I don't know if it's true or false. She was rumored to be dating. Sean Diddy Combs. A.K.A. Mr. I'm Coming Home himself. Uh, I guess when Justin was doing his homework. Diddy was coming down on Lori. <laughs> Silly joke. I know, I know Justin is a grown-ass man, so I don't think he was doing his homework. But maybe he was in college. 20. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, in 2020, my man, the man himself, Future, also did that shit. It's rumored that he did that shit in Jamaica. I don't know. But it was so and sweet and probably magical for Miss... Uh, Harvey, uh, my man, I guess, uh, for my man Future, she's one of those, uh, reasons why Future always has a hard time on Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day is the worst, nigga, <laughs> that's a great song, by the way, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's a pretty really great song, and of course, she dated the, the highly rated, the highly lust over, lusted over, the highly, uh, regarded Michael even Steve Hardy berated this nigga on his stupid TV show. Like, oh, he was like, oh my God, I like this one. He didn't actually say that. I'm just, you know, adding a little sauce and spice. He was like, I like this one. This was the best one. This one is a keeper. This one's Baconda. This one is Killmonger. This one is Creed. This one is everything. Now, if Steve was a regular guy, I'd be like, oh my God, Steve is looking for that black panther money. But Steve is a really wealthy guy. Dude's got multiple jobs. Dude never stops working. Dude, we all work. Anyway, um, and then, uh, we, we, okay, we're gonna say, hey, it's woman empowerment. She can date whoever she want, whenever she want. That's great. Whatever you ladies want to feel comfortable with being fucked up by everybody in the hood. It's a Hollywood thing. This really has nothing to do with this young lady. I'm just, I'm just being a hater. 
That's the point of the fucking show. I'm hating. But let's be honest. This Murray girl is fine as fuck. Oh my god, she is gorgeous. She's fly as fuck. Anyway, um, now or according or during the recording of this damn thing, she's dating Desmond Idris. And I'm not a gambling man. But if I was, I'd put my money on this and end it real soon. And as soon as it ends, I'm also putting my money on my man, the legend himself, the man who can't tell his race, Pete motherfucking Davidson, to take next, to get next. You know Pete's about that life. Pete is a nigga who's dated everybody, man. Pete's dated everybody. This nigga stole Kim from Kanye West. And Kanye used to hang with this nigga. That's how crazy and deadly this nigga is. This nigga was engaged to Ariana. This nigga date everybody. So I will not be surprised if he dates Lori. Or he's already did it before because that nigga's a ninja. He's fast. He's fast. He's in. He's out. Just like that. Man is incredible. Anyway, um, what could I say? Um, uh, so you, you, you people, go ahead. You go ahead and listen to Steve Harvey's nonsense. Like, you know, we all know Steve fucked up the world when he did that. Um, think like a man, act like a girl, whatever crap. But what's the name of the book? Think like a man, act like a woman, or act like a woman. Act. The, the title, man, you know the book. I'm going to have to put up a picture of that shit so I remember what it said. It, I know it said, it says think like a man, act like a woman, think like a man. Think like a man. Yeah, that's it. Think like a man. The book had a title though. That's the film. The film that had Kevin Hart and everybody in it. You remember it? Yeah. Think like a man. Yeah, that, that's the name of the movie. I don't remember the name of the damn book, but it could be the same thing. One the same. Anyway, act like a man. Think like a man. Great book. Everybody was reading that shit. Dude was comparing stuff to other stuff. Great analogies in the book. I didn't. I watched the films. I'm assuming that they represented the book well in the films. Because the film had a bunch of cool guys in it. Anyway. So what? Are we listening to Steve? Are we? Are we taking Steve's advice on relationship? Get yeah, granted, man is married. He's been married for a long time. Man got divorced several times. But we're not going to talk about that. Because each divorce, man learned a valuable lesson. And he proved it. The problem is, man can't get his household in check. I mean, like, his daughter's fucking everybody out here. Hey, maybe she ain't fucking these niggas, but I refuse to believe. I don't know about Desmond Iris. I don't know about B. Jordan, but I know my nigga Future hit that shit. The Future is about that life. BJ and Mrs. Brown. Of course, you could say, what about Diddy Combs? That nigga's been rumored to be gay all the time. I don't even know she dated that girl. So I'm not sure. And I know Memphis did that shit, too. So... Based on reputation, I know B. Jordan hit that shit, too. I, I'm, I'm just assuming, because Steve was bragging about that nigga. I don't know about Mr. Steal Your Girl, but I know Future hit. I wasn't there. But I wouldn't think Future wasted his time with a girl if he didn't hit. And Memphis probably hit. I don't know about Justin. Justin probably hit, too. Basically, everybody goddamn hit on this list. And the worst part, there's nothing wrong with dating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven niggas. It's the time frame she's dating these dudes, fam. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 20. Like, every fucking year she's getting a new nigga. Like, what the hell? And Steve's out here, ask Steve on this Steve talk show. And wouldn't be like, hey, Steve, my man's like this. My man did this. My man did this. Oh, what should I do, Steve? Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga can't even tell his daughter to sit the fuck down. He can't. And he gonna tell you what to do. I don't believe this garbage. Get the hell out of here. What is this nonsense you're trying to pull? Okay, today we're hating on Steve. We hate you, Steve. We hate you. But I love your family, Future. I really do. So I don't even know why I'm doing this piece. I just felt like doing something. <laughs> All I'm saying is, should we read? advice from Steve like 
why take why should society take advice from a man who can't govern his own household i'm just saying if you're gonna govern society on how society should be how people should love how women should be treated hey maybe that's the advice that you gave his daughter that if these niggas don't treat you right get dad though hey but she's skedaddling a lot and by the time she settled down she'd be passed around like a fruit basket or a donation basket at church service i didn't take that analogy out like, a fruit basket. like i'm just saying like the problem with the problem with her is that she's publicizing all of these if she did it if you dated 100 niggas in one year and told nobody nobody's gonna know you a whole but if you date a hundred niggas and tell everybody, post them, hold, kiss them, everybody know go your hoe. So you a hoe because you telling people. So if you're more discreet, nobody will know you a hoe. Like it only makes sense that like, if you want to find a potential partner, a potential being, you have to sample a few things. You just have to find some that you like, and some that has the characteristics that you look up to, and maybe several niggas claim to have those characteristics and shit and then they they, they they don't and you skedaddle but if you're gonna publicize everything everything oh my god this nigga bought, took me to the restaurant oh my god this nigga did this oh my god this nigga did and that nigga leaves your ass then you do the same thing with the next nigga with the next nigga with the next before you know it in a year you've dated 10 dudes and everybody knows and now you a hoe but the people that don't know the girls that are being called saints they dated 15 dudes Nobody knows. So she ain't a hoe. She's a saint. Public perception is important, people. Fucking important. It, 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 it puts how people treat you in the public stem hole. Like how people see you, perceive you. If you a hoe in the streets, people will treat you like a hoe. Doesn't matter if you got the dough or not. You a hoe, you a hoe. Like, like, I saw a clip of Maya Khalifa giving marriage advice. No one's going to take her advice unless you're stupid. Why would you be taking the advice of an ex-porn ex star? For that matter. And, and we're not even going to talk about this Adam 22 loser guy. We're not. I'm just saying that if you're going to do dirty shit, just do it in private. What the hell's wrong with people? People cannot put their shit, dirty laundry, in private and just hide it so nobody can see it. If Adam 22 and his wife decided to have a threesome with this nigga, why couldn't they do it in the private? But no, she's a hyper woman. In what world would you date a porn star? I, I've, I've derailed from what the show was even about. I'm sorry. So with that, I'm going, I'm going to leave you. Yeah. I guess that's the whole point of the show. I'm just going to be popping shit I hate on a weekly basis. So... The main premise could be a part of a topic and I won't add more shit to it, you know, add fuel to it and tell you about what I hate and what about I like. No, I'm not going to tell you what I like. I'm just going to tell you what I hate. So, this has been Hate Speech.